Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to another video of mine. Uh, in this video we're going to be unboxing and reviewing this aircraft here in front of us. Um, I figure before we do that I should probably give an update on where the channel has been over the last year or two. Um, I don't think I've uploaded anything in the means of model aircraft and about that. Um, I did, I have recently filmed a airport update for AEC International, which if you're not familiar with my channel, that is a, an airport that I'd roughly thrown together uh, as a diorama for these aircraft, these model aircraft. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't think I've updated that in about two years. Um, obviously with COVID and everything, spotting here has been at a standstill and therefore my interest in aviation was kind of dwindling a little bit. Um, but over the last month or so, I've returned to uh, the enthusiasm of aviation and also model collecting. Um, this model in front of us was part of a, a set of about five models I ordered from Aviation Centre Australia. Um, and I guess they were the first thing I really bought in probably a good two years. And prior to that, it was a United 787 I'd bought over in a, at a trip in Brisbane. And I think that was probably at least two years ago now. Um, I do want to say I'm I'm back to YouTube, um, but I can't really guarantee that. I definitely am back into collecting, uh, so hopefully you'll be seeing a few more of these unboxings, if not model airport updates. Um, the model airport and the diorama isn't my priority and focus at the moment, but who knows, I might continue to post implementations of that. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, I don't know how much plane spotting will be featured on the channel from here, just because ever since I really have filmed or stopped filming I've been into photography a bit more and uh, I've been a bit more active throughout Instagram and sites where photos are more of a, a keen interest so I don't know how many aircraft I'll be videoing from here on in but I guess if something interesting comes in and I decide to film I'll certainly upload that but anyway we should get into this unboxing which is a Japan Airlines Boeing 767-300ER by Phoenix Models in 1-400 to scale uh, the box isn't really very revealing in, in the sense of the aircraft. Um, but I should say before we get into this, this the reason I'm posting this unboxing instead of something else which is arguably more interesting is because this aircraft won't be in its current guise within my collection for a very long time. In fact, hopefully not too long after recording this, this will be being converted from its current Japan Airlines guise into Air New Guinea. And if you don't know, uh, you cannot buy a 1-400 to scale Air New Guinea 767, and that's why I've been kindly, I guess, given these as part of a trade with a friend, 1-400 um, to scale Air New Guinea decals. Um, so I really just looked for the most white, I guess you could say, 767 uh, to apply these to, uh, and this was the cheapest aircraft fitting that guys. Um, it was, I think, $42 Australian or something like that. Um, yeah, so hopefully in the not too near future, um, we will have a Air New Guinea 767-300ER as opposed to Japan Airlines, which is a bit more relevant to my location and uh, I guess my interest. Um, I'll definitely post that given everything goes well, although I don't have a whole lot of spare decals, so hopefully, um, hopefully we don't mess up too badly. But uh, anyway, I shall get into the unboxing of this aircraft. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get out some more unboxings soon but anyway this is the phoenix japan airline 767 300er um it is in some kind of special guise there is some decal uh placement over the tail or the rear section of the fuselage which you'll see on the model and the box is uh quite depictive of that so this is the decorative front uh on the sides we have the typical phoenix uh i guess design hold on I'll get this a bit closer to the camera and hopefully it will focus uh, I guess these are some of the characters featured on the on the aircraft. They are more of those characters, which I believe this picture here is much the same of what's depicted on the plane itself. And then just some more of that. On the back of the box, which is that way, uh, we have more of these characters. Um, and other than, I guess, that, there's not really much revealing on the aircraft other than the title of Boeing 767-300ER. So we'll open this one up and review it a little bit. Uh, so it comes in this standard Phoenix crate, 
uh, with the plastic sleeve over the top. And here we have the aircraft. Um, I am just recording on my phone at the moment. Um, the camera I was using for video, I, I ended up selling in favour of a better DSLR for photography, so uh, this phone will have to do for now. Uh, but anyway, on the aircraft we have the nose section, which is, I guess, the typical Phoenix 767 nose, nothing too amazing there. Um, we have the number 656 on the uh, on the nose gear door, which corresponds with the registration JA656J. Uh, and the standard Japan Airlines titles are uh, just here. Um, so the, this, for the entire front section of the aircraft, I guess, it is really just a standard Japan Airlines 767. Um, the engine we can see here is the beautiful uh, General Electric CF6, I believe it is. I believe this has CF6s. I could actually be mistaken there. Um, it may have the, the Pratt & Whitney variant, but either way, it's one of those. It's certainly not the Rolls-Royce. Um, we can see just up here the tail, or the wing detail rather, um, which is the registration and the, the red spot there. Uh, and here we see the significant part of this aircraft, which is, I guess, the, uh, the, the detail or the special livery that this carries. And it looks to be for some kind of Japanese cartoon. Um, forgive me for not knowing what exactly this is. I didn't really look too much into this aircraft before buying it. Um, but yeah, this certainly does just correspond with a picture on the box, and um, I guess it's quite a nice colourful touch to an otherwise Euro-wide aircraft. Uh, we have these details back here, which explain UNICEF, Boeing 767, and the registration. And of course, we have the Japan Airlines uh, tail. I don't think there's a whole lot more to really review. Uh, the Phoenix landing gear uh, is, of course, prominent on this aircraft. I'm quite fond of the, the Phoenix landing gears, actually, and I've heard a lot of folks say, oh, that the, the chrome isn't favourable on it, but I, I'm quite a fan of it. Um, moving to the other side of the plane, uh, much is really the same here. I think the picture here is just an inverse of the, the other side. Um, the cargo doors are present here, as you can see, um, and they just do what they need to do. Uh, Engines, again, prominent, and uh, the livery, again, remains much the same. The bottom of the aircraft, so I can put it down in a way that won't damage it, is um, uh, relatively uh, standard on the bottom, and the landing gears are, again, of course, present, and the Phoenix logo is the only real detail on the bottom. Of course, the wing details are, again, present with the registration uh, on this wing, and we'll bring it right back around. Um, I think this relatively concludes uh, the video on this review. It wasn't really meant to be a very long one. I just did want to get something back out on YouTube. And uh, I know that this aircraft won't be in my collection uh, in its current guise for a whole lot longer. So I guess this video will have a bit of personal sentiment in uh, remembering this livery as well. But um, I hope you did enjoy the review. Uh, I hope it's... Uh, being, I guess, somewhat informative on this aircraft, if it was something you were planning to buy. Um, for $42, I think they have done a fairly significant, or a fairly good job on this aircraft. Um, you can pick up some fairly good deals from Aviation Centre Australia, especially uh, in terms of prices if you're located within Australia. Um, I bought a number of aircraft from there, um, including a, a Gemini Jets Antonov 124, um, a Gemini Jets Royal Australian Air Force P8 Poseidon, uh, an A400M, and uh, this aircraft as well as a Southwest 737 for under $250, including postage, um, which yeah, is fairly good considering the current state of model aircraft prices. But uh, yeah, anyway, I hope this was enjoyable. Um, hopefully I'll be back on YouTube and I'll certainly be a bit more active within the comment section and all of that. But anyway, yeah, hopefully I'll be back here soon and I'll see you in the next video whenever that may be. Uh, see ya.